Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Martin with The Country Chemist. There you go, you guys asked for it. A day in my life. I'm not gonna tell you it's super glamorous. Here I am in the bus pickup or drop off, same thing at the end of my street. The boys were up super early so I figured I better film this while I'm alone just dropped off Kinley and I'm drinking my coffee in peace for a split second before I head back into the chaos. I'm gonna show you guys a little peek into my daily life, family life, mom life, business life, and how I do a typical Wednesday here in the Martin household. So if you've ever been curious, keep watching, check it out. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I love hearing your guys' ideas for videos. So keep them coming. Thanks for being here, girls. All right, we made it to school bus drop. Hudson didn't want to go to school today, so he is still at home. Say good morning. Good morning. Can you tell I'm not a morning person? Waiting for the bus. I drink my coffee. I literally put on my slippers. Pat Kinley's lunch, brush her hair. That's it, we're here. It's summer. It is the last Wednesday of the summer. We have one more day of 6.30 drop-offs. I'm tired, Kinley's tired. We had a late basketball game last night. And no, subs. no substitutes, uh, late night. I'm still wearing this shirt. I went to the game in, so, you know, there's that. So yeah, we're just gonna drop her off. Well, I'm gonna sit here and attempt to wake up. She's, she's my daughter. My boys are like my husband and usually can jump right out of bed. Me, not so much because your littlest brother was sleeping with your other brother. Yeah, I know. I saw him when I was going to the bathroom. So my husband woke him up and threw in the littlest one with me. Uh, I was really, really hoping yeah, he, threw the he would one sleep you. in. Oh, it's going to be a long day. It's okay. It's gonna be a good day, right? I'm right, gonna Kinley? Be the only one on the bus. You are gonna be the only one on the bus. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. It's a good day to have a good day, right, Kay? No, it's not. Happy hump day. Nope, you gotta be positive. Yesterday was a bad day. Okay, today is gonna be what? Better. Better than ever. Yes, that's right. All right, we're in the car. Say hi. Oh, 
yeah, that's about typical. Usually I shower before I go take my boys to my mom's because today is content day. Anyway, we are, I'm taking him, both of them, to nannies a little bit early because they could not get along today. Um, surprise, surprise. What? Yeah. Let's hope we can make it through the car ride without them fighting the whole time. So. No, I don't want to go to car wash. We're not going through a car wash. I said the car ride. I need a little break this summer. So, anyway. Here we go. Off to Nanny's house. Okay guys, I guess it's the day for everyone in my neighborhood to mow. I don't know if that's my house or my neighbor, but picked a great day to do a day in the life. Yay. Anyway, I just got out of the shower. I also just finished my new face routine and I filmed it. So that will be coming as well. I am always asked for my morning skincare regimen. So here's what I did. Um, since I knew I would be filming today, uh, once a week, I use my Glow Weekly Pads, okay? Um, so I used these last night, nothing else, right? And then always the next day, I cure my face. So my face feels amazing super smooth um normally in the mornings though i simply just either wash my face with water or just a simple wipe um and just get off the remaining skincare from overnight anything that had maybe like came out of my pores and i keep my morning routine extremely simple so coming out of the shower it's the same exact thing i always never fail never miss use a vitamin c serum always and forever okay it's the one thing in the mornings I always do besides my sunscreen so I I'm pretty generous with mine okay this is my antioxidant it will work in conjunction with your SPF to help any free free radicals from aging or damaging your skin I will tell you what if you have not started a vitamin C the one thing just add this every morning don't use it at night use it in the morning because it works better with your sunscreen and mine kind of just depends on my day what serums I use I'll be honest I change it up on the daily which is why I don't like just show you one routine ever um, so lately I've been using azelaic acid this has a night <laughs> I can't talk this also has niacinamide and some vitamin C in it it's not like you can overdose on vitamin C or anything, um, but this is really great for hyperpigmentation, general skin health, skin barrier, all of the things. It's kind of a natural exfoliant as well to just kind of keep your skin cell turnover going. And as we age, that slows down dramatically. So you guys know I'm a fan of all the acids. Give me them all. And then I love this peptide serum by Cos de Baja. Oh, sorry, this one was Naturium. I'll link them below. Um, but this one is great because it's got hyaluronic acid and argireline. So I just did my new face routine, and the argireline is kind of like, um, it's like Botox in a bottle. It will kind of just relax lines. It's not like a permanent thing. You have to constantly be using it, and it will work, but it's it's not it'll wear off it's not like oh you get rid of these lines and then they're gone no but it kind of gives the appearance of lines 
diminished. So I go all the way up with that one. And this one's got the hyaluronic. So this one's going to moisturize my skin as well. Bring everything down the neck and chest. Um, this is my self tanner day. So I try to not put it on anything too thick. These serums actually will absorb rather quickly, but I always wait and let them absorb before I start tanning. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and use my eye cream, the avocado melt, and I'm just gonna use a little bit because I am filming. I don't want any slippage, but my eyes have been very dry lately, so I'm just gonna kind of pat it on the driest parts just so when I put on my makeup, it's not gonna look textured. I've been using this, this is like the only one that's been soothing my eyes lately, because everything else is. So, depending on my skin will depend on the serum I use, and it changes differently. But that is today. Um, let's see, I'm going to use some lip balm. This is by Hello Body. I really like this one in the mornings. While I go fill up my water and do my next part of my routine. All right, it is in my backyard. They are mowing, so. Next up, my, my skincare has absorbed. We're now going to do hair products. So I normally do this step before I take my son to my mom's and I let my hair air dry as much as possible so I don't have to put as much heat on it. Alas, the morning was rough. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my products in it and then put it up and let it air dry while my tan starts developing. It's pretty much my day that I take a long hot shower and do like my full get ready. I do not do this every day, okay? I do, do not do this numerous times a week, um, just on filming day and when I actually have time, so possibly maybe on the weekends. The rest of them are more like quick showers, dry shampoo, and more dry shampoo, right? So, all right, I switch up what I put in my hair on the daily. I will be honest, I'm always changing it, but here is my couple, my favorite combos, all right? I have to have something for volume, have to. My hair is very straight and fine, but I have a lot of it, so it can get very heavy. So I gotta have something to lift at the root that's not heavy. If it's heavy, it just weighs my hair down. So I do love that it's a 10, Miracle Blow Dry Volumizing Spray. And all I do is I will part my hair, if I can get it to squirt, and do sections at the root. Okay, and then I will part it here and do the same thing. Okay, and then I kind of get it in there, right? Okay, so I love that. And with that combo, I need something for texture. So I have <laughs> stick straight hair, stick straight. I'm always wanting more grip and texture to my hair. Um, otherwise my hair is way too sleek and it just looks flat. So um, I love the Kenra Platinum Texturizing Mist. This one's super simple because I literally just There you go. I just spray it all over. So if I don't use those, I do like this launch combo. I use the whip volumizing mousse at the root, and then I'll spray the salt and sea texturizing spray throughout it. But I don't do both because I don't need that much product in my hair. And then I will use the launch thermal magique as my heat and humidity tamer. Uh, if you know, if you've ever been to Missouri in the summer, you know what I mean? Humidity is real. So this is just all over one of my heat protectants that I'll use. Okay. Then I'm just going to use my paddle brush and I'm going to 
distribute it. This or my wet brush, okay? And then, nothing fancy. I let the top of my hair dry slower so that way it doesn't get flat. Like if the top of my hair dries, then forget about it. It's like, I'll have to start over and wet my hair to re-blow dry it. So I'm gonna let this dry. I put it up so it dries slower. This part can dry, you know, I don't need volume as much down here, but then I will show you how I blow dry after. Okay, it's tanning time, which means I'm not gonna show you this part, but doing my ride or die. I've showed this a million times. It's over on Instagram, step-by-step, step, all my tips. So I'm gonna use my glow screen, my sunscreen, mixed with my Isle of Paradise green drops, palm of my hand, face down to my neck, okay? Then I'm gonna use, right now this summer, I've been loving the Cocoa and Eve. This is nice and dark, it lasts a really long time. With my mitt, full body, okay? Get my back with the back tanner, and then I'm going to put on black, loose clothing, okay? I was asked that the other day, and somebody was talking about putting on leggings, and I'm like, nope, I put on my joggers. Something loose, always black, because I get dressed immediately, and I let that kind of develop before I ever put on real clothes. So if you don't have the, like when I'm in a rush and I don't have time to do that, I will just make sure I wear some kind of dark shirt so that if I do happen to sweat or something, if I'm going outside, it doesn't like stain my clothes because this has an immediate bronzer in it, which I love because then I can, immediately get going on with my day. So I'm gonna go ahead and tan, and then I'll be back. All right, friends, I'm back. I made breakfast. <laughs> it's a late breakfast, but on content days, I know I'm not going to stop to eat until probably my kids get home from school. Um, don't come to me for <laughs> nutrition advice. Um, I'm not the best about eating healthy. I know I get like asked for like tips and tricks to how to stay healthy. That is an ongoing journey for me personally. Um, on content days, I don't work out. I just take that as an off day and I'm bad about remembering to eat. So I have to consciously be like, all right, Sarah, eat breakfast. You're not gonna eat for a while. Drink lots of water. So I keep a huge jug next to me full of water. Another simple modern one. Surprise, surprise. If I don't fill it, I won't drink it. But um, I just had one cup of coffee and now I'm gonna have some early bird. <laughs> guys are gonna think I'm so weird. Um, okay, so if you haven't heard of early bird cocktail, it is supposed to help you get up earlier. All right, so I am not a morning person, never claimed to be. I've wanted to be one my whole life, but I struggle in that regard. So I got this trying to help myself. Um, the design is that you mix this and put this next to your bed. So the first thing you do in the morning is you drink this, like, it's just like eight ounces. Um, and it gives you energy. It's got like caffeine from green coffee, all these electrolytes and like brain food, right? It's supposed to help you kind of clear the brain fog and it totally does. My issue is that I then miss my cup of coffee, something about like, I'm a coffee drinker. I love the taste of it. I look forward to my morning coffee. So I do things a little backwards. I occasionally will drink this like if I'm gonna work out first thing cause coffee doesn't really set well with me when I, if I want like a quick boost to work out. Um, to me, this is almost like a pre-workout without working out. <laughs> so um, I'm going to drink this now with my breakfast, which is nothing fancy. It's one of my favorites, just the Kodiak Cakes oatmeal, and it's got protein, and I put like half a banana in it. That'll keep me 
going until I can get this content created. And so now I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna chug this and some water, eat my oatmeal while I color match. So this is like my little like, I don't even know, my office, my favorite spot in the house with my, this is where you'll find me later today as well. Tonight, this is where I work. I can't, I'm not a desk person. I can't sit down at a desk and I have to be right in the middle of my kids and whatnot. So now I'm gonna color match so I can keep up with them during the day. Um, if I wait too long, then there'll be too many for me able to get done quickly. So I kind of do them as they come in during the day and then you'll see I send them all out at night. So I'm gonna sit down, get these bad boys done. Right, I'm back and I'm in costume change number one. So the video I am filming today is on eyes. That is my main video I have to get done today, but I need my face done before I do that video. So I'm gonna film a quick video for my face first. This is how I multitask and get as much content as I can in one day. I actually sometimes usually do film a hair tutorial the same days I'm gonna fix my hair. On day one hair, I always try to fix it so it will last longer. Um, I didn't do that today because filming this video is way more time consuming than I had anticipated. It is much later than I normally get started, two hours later. So I'm running out of time. My daughter will be home from school in two hours. So I gotta get my butt in gear. And I've had to stop a few times to charge my phone because I'm not used to being on my phone all day. It's really draining on the battery. So I'm going to go ahead and film the first video and check that off the list so I can get moving. All right, friends, another outfit change. I count this video, I'm technically, this will be number four. So I'm not near the seven that my goal was, but that's okay. Um, it's been a little bit more time consuming. I'm not used to vlogging. This is new for me, but I wanted to show you guys a little behind the scenes because I'm asked all the time. My setup, if you will, is not the most professional. Um, it's not the most organized. And <laughs> I know people have asked for me like, like tips on how to organize. It, it's it's not it's not the fanciest. So there you go. This is what I look like when I sit down. I've got my makeup, my fancy dancy camera, AKA my phone goes there. I've got my ring light, two box lights, and I literally have everything I could need for a video down here. And this is my dining room. And this is what I call my studio. My husband doesn't really like it, but he's used to it after four years. And I keep it like this all the time. One day I might have an office, which would be fabulous. But uh, for now, this will do. I can get my stuff done 
that's all that matters. It's functional. And I, I film at a moment's notice if I need to. I sit down here. I, in fact, actually get ready here every day as well. I use my lights because they're daylight bulbs and it makes it easy. So um, there you go. Nothing fancy. Uh, people have asked me like how I organize. I literally have everything off of Amazon. Lots of like acrylic organizing, you can see that, acrylic organizers, all of these. So I promise I will get a little bit more organized one day and then I'll be able to kind of show you guys. I just ordered a bunch of organizing stuff for my bathroom. So that's next on my list and maybe I'll share all of it um, at the same time if that would help you. Time to film my YouTube video now. So got you on the tripod. I quick tip: you're doing a content day. If you are a content creator, you always want to end on the video that you're gonna stay in, whatever clothes you're gonna stay in. So I made it, guys. I hit all eight. My daughter's home. Luckily, she's my quiet one. She's upstairs, and my sons will be here any second. So now it is time to finally go finish my YouTube upload that I always have it upload the night before. So it is ready to go whenever I can get to it today. Um, so now I'm going to go post that and share it and I will be done with my content for the day time for mom time. And I don't know if I ever mentioned before, my husband's out of town today. Fun. Um, so he's out of town. So I'm on my own all night and, um, at least I feel productive and we'll see if I can survive. Let's go. Okay guys, you can probably hear my kids' iPads in the background. Oh no, here they come. <laughs> it's almost six o'clock now. I just finished posting my YouTube video Instagram, Facebook, all of the things and doing the rest of the color matches that have come in. Now it's time to feed those little yahoos over there. Um, before we head to tonight is softball practice. Can you see how much it took me almost two hours, two hours to do that. <laughs> I get much less done um once they're home such as my life so time to feed them okay so i just realized why i'm so tired because after my eight videos i forgot the most important thing i haven't had my afternoon coffee yet <laughs> You can hear my children, ignore them. They're playing baseball in the house. So I've been asked numerous times how I make my iced coffee. Sorry to disappoint, it is not anything too fancy. Um, but here you go. So I normally always use the Stoke cold brew coffee, unsweetened, black. I've got a little bit left. I'm just gonna go ahead and use what I've got. Oh, not much. Not enough. Let's just say that. Oh, not enough. So they were out of that last time. So I went ahead and just grabbed Starbucks because I'm not that picky. Um, sometimes I even make my, I just make my own cold brew as well. Um, but lately I've been a little bit too lazy. So there you go. Filling her up high because. Go like this because I'm on my own tonight and we still have to do dinner and practice, so. All right, I use the pure, just organic stevia, liquid stevia, normal squirt of that. And again, nothing fancy, great value Walmart brand. <laughs> um, 
pretty much you taste the the nutrition is practically identical to what is it called silk or whatever unsweetened vanilla almond milk there you go pour until full i think that's what people were asking they saw that and i'm like nothing fancy just a little almond milk um and then i get my special stir i don't need my pen right now but thank you buddy okay stir that bad boy up this will get me through the rest of the night because i still have a lot to do and i am a night worker so my favorite cup all right now i'm ready to tackle dinner Oh my gosh. One more. One more. Okay friends, so we just got to softball practice, which means for me, I'm wearing makeup. I'm reapplying my sunscreen. So my two faves, Super Goop, the Resetting Powder or the Defense Refresh Setting Spray. Whichever one you kind of prefer, whether just a spray. So that, easy to spray on the kids too. Ooh, ready, hold your breath. Right? <laughs> you like that? Or if you feel like it's, um, Mom, can I want some? If uh, you're a little shiny, translucent powder. Okay, come here. I want some. My girl tends to get I red on her I want some. nose. Okay, we're not going to be. A Eli says, I don't want any. So, I feel better. Um, we're going to go to practice. I keep these in my car. Mom, is it inside or outside? It is softball practice. Therefore, what is it's outside. So. Yeah. We're going to go to practice. Uh, Wish us luck. Say bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, he got it. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Hey guys all right it's late <laughs> but we did car wash baths after softball practice anyone with kids that play baseball or softball you can hear my child on the monitor you know how dirty those fields are so we did car wash bath as we call it which means the fastest bath possible um shower for my daughter in their pjs and they are now having their 15 minutes of ipad time um the timer is set my kids physically need to hear the timer go off or they throw a fit going to bedtime so that's my mom hack set a timer it works like a charm so i am ready to take off my face for the day gosh I need to wash this thing like seriously Sarah um, this is my Tossy I love this thing holds all my hair in its little pouch it's amazing all right I feel like I did a little bit heavier on the eyes so you guys know I'm a Lashify lover but you can't really get oil near the lashes or it'll kind of break down the bond so I use my simple wipes around my lash line as close as humanly possible. I can hear my dog whining at the bathroom door. He wants in. <laughs> I can hear the, my youngest is listening to some kind of music on his iPad.
I'm just going to do a little once over on my face to remove some of the makeup, but after sitting in the dirt, like the dirt was literally flying in our faces, it is most definitely a balm cleansing night. So I'm gonna use my favorite balm, the Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. This one's really good and exfoliating as well. I'm just gonna get about this much. I feel like you don't need a whole lot, like that's probably actually too much considering I just took some off. Now you can use this on your eyes if you're not wearing lashes. But if you've never used a balm and let it like melt your makeup off, you're missing out. It's extremely satisfying. You feel super clean afterwards when you double cleanse like this. Don't forget your neck, especially if you contour. This one is also really exfoliating as well. Let's see if I can challenge myself to talk and show you guys all this in 15 minutes before the timer goes off. Okay, so I've got my microfiber cloth from Saint. I'm gonna use just one side to remove that balm. And you can tell like there was still some makeup. And you guys saw, I saw tan this morning. So some of this that's coming off will be my tanner as well. Okay, so that was one side laid out. Now I'm going to double cleanse by using my cleansers. This is old packaging of my Saint Milk Cleanser. This one is almost gone, but I love my title. I do about three squirts. You'll see how liquidy it is. Okay, it's supposed to be like that. It's almost like a lotion. It is a milk cleanser. So it's got that natural lactic, so it's gonna also exfoliate. I'm telling you guys, Acid exfoliators or enzymes like from fruit and things like milk is the best for aging skin. If you like don't know how much slower our skin starts turning over as we age, I want to say that like it slows down by like 10 days every like five to 10 years or something crazy. This is why we need it um, to make our skin look youthful. It's all about the skin regeneration. I rub it in until I feel like it's completely like absorbed, okay? It is like a lotion. Then I'll get rinse off my hands, have my fingertips wet, and then I like to just kind of go in with my fingers and a little bit of that water just to make sure I didn't miss a spot because it can kind of feel like it rubs in super quickly. Again, that one, that can also remove your eye makeup. You don't necessarily need a separate cleanser, but I like to, you know, kind of use the wipes around my lashes. So I'm going to use the opposite side so that way I don't have to use two microfiber cloths. These are so great because these exfoliate too. You guys are gonna think I'm a crazy exfoliation lady, but I'm telling you, incorporating gentle exfoliation and not a harsh scrub was one of the best things I've ever done for my skin and made the biggest difference. All right, so now my skin is clean. Um, if you need a toner, you can totally tone here. I don't tone every night. Um, when I need to, I'll use an exfoliating toner. Um, but I just exfoliated this morning. I don't. I usually don't double exfoliate in the same day. So using some kind of toner that is an acidic toner, like glycolic or the PHA, BHA, I don't do that on the same day as Cure because I don't need to. I just kind of removed all that. But I also just got a nice like canvas after using that combo, that double cleanse. So 
I can tell my baby, my, my baby, my face is baby soft. I do not need an exfoliator right now. So be careful not to over exfoliate. You know, a microfiber, microfiber cloth is completely different than throwing something like an acid on your face when you don't need it. So it's the true test. What to do tonight? If you guys know me at all, I change it on a daily basis. So I am a huge believer in paying attention to what your skin needs. I don't look red, so I'm not gonna do my ceramide this tonight. This is good for redness. Um, something that's good for any night would be something like niacinamide. Um, azelaic acid, like I used this morning. Since I just used that this morning, I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, I don't use vitamin C at night. That is a daytime thing. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just use um, a little bit of my niacinamide dew drops. So niacinamide is something that is good day or night with any other product. It's not going to react and it is the best for just i don't know overall it does so much it's like a retinol um it does hyperpigmentation congestion of pores give you that glow you can tell this one immediately gives that glow factor i like using that one in the morning but it can be used anytime i feel like my skin needs a lot of moisture right now so i'm gonna go ahead and let's just go ahead and go do using the same eye cream telling you guys I have been having still so much dryness and peeling under my eyes and this is the only thing that doesn't exacerbate it so okay so under my eyes I have to make sure I don't use anything too harsh I'll that cream is not really a 360, meant to go on the upper lid. One of my favorites for that is this BioEffect Eye Serum. This though, for sure, is going to create issues under my eye. I can hear my kids. I'll be right back. And she just asked me the most random question. And now I do not remember what I was even talking about. Oh yeah, we were talking about eyes. Okay, I cannot do this. As a 360 it will make my eyes peel really bad but can you hear my dog I can I love this little rollerball I can just concentrate it right here and I feel like it helps lift and it doesn't transfer to my lower lash line which is what is obviously extremely easily irritated okay so once I got my eyes done I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my retinol I, ever since my eye issues, I've been using this one, which is a retinaldehyde, which isn't as strong as a prescription strength. And I love this one. I love it so much because it gives no irritation. It makes your skin feel amazing. You, If you've struggled with going through the dryness peeling issues that can happen with using like a strong retinol even trying to kind of build up to it, try this one, okay? Two pumps, okay, it's yellow. It feels almost like a, uh oh, there goes the timer. It feels like a primer. It's like that really smooth, like pore filling primer. This one, I don't feel like you have to worry about like putting it in the creases and the crevices like you would a prescription strength. It doesn't cause irritation and dryness in those areas like that one can. I'll be right back. Okay, win-win. My youngest had already fallen asleep. <laughs> Love it when that happens. So, okay, that gave it ample time to absorb. So this one is awesome. After my retinol, I always top it with, dun -dun 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 -dun. I bet you guys can guess, my milk cream, once again, this is the old title packaging, works the same. I do a full pump, sometimes it doesn't completely pump out all the way. So 
I can be a little bit generous. It's not gonna hurt. Keep it on your fingertips so you don't have it absorb into your palms. And then just kind of distribute it. Now I do keep it away from my orbital bone because it is a heavy cream. It can totally cause milia, which is why I put my eye cream on first. So that's kind of absorbed there and I don't have this one doing it, you know? Just depends on your skin, but me, I'm prone to that kind of little white bumpy things there. If you don't know what Millie is, which are impossible to get rid of. So not all the way up, just to the orbital bone. Don't forget the neck. So. It's one thing that I'm trying to be more conscious about as I get older. So I do use this Nectifirm by Revision. I try to remember this. Um, and do the full area. They say to go upwards against gravity. Let's just say it's not gonna hurt, right? It's one area that I wish I probably would have started sooner um, in prevention. So, all right, let's see. Oh, my stuff is literally flying out. You guys, no joke on my list this week is organize bathroom skincare. It's everywhere. Um, the addiction is real and I know I need to Problem is, I don't want to get rid of anything. I just want to be able to easily see what I have. So hopefully my husband doesn't get mad because I'm planning on putting shelves up right here and organizing it all by type. I'm really excited. I geek out over stuff like that. I love to be organized. So let's go ahead and top this with an oil. If you've ever seen that meme where it's like, I don't, I haven't done my skincare correctly unless I look like a glazed donut. That is me. My husband's like, I can't kiss you after you look like that. I'm like, yes, please don't mess with my skincare. This is awesome. I'm gonna wake up glowing. <laughs> um, all right, I love mixing oils and I feel like doing oils last after my cream really locks in the moisture. I feel like this is like liquid gold to me, so I don't want to put this on last to wear you know, the oils are heavier and it, it's not gonna absorb through the oils. I feel like it's a waste. This, I want to do, it's magic, but I'm gonna lock it in so it's just gonna be in there even better. So, oils. I like rosehip seed oil because it's good for hyperpigmentation, anti-aging, all the things. Um, I got this giant bottle of Argan um, from a Fabit Fun Box and I've got a bunch of different oils. Sometimes I mix vit vitamin E, just avocado oil. There's so many different types. You can even get retinol, retinol oils, but since I already put a retinol on, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna take a couple of drops of my rose hip and my argan. You can mix oils. Did I already say that? So emulsify it, press it on. Now, one issue, I guess, one of the only bad things about an oil is that your hair, especially if you're like me and you have short hair and you can't exactly put your hair on like a top knot situation overnight, around my hairline can get a little greasy faster. So I tend to take my dry shampoo, um, my favorite for overnight more like prevention is definitely the living proof this one does pull a little white on my dark hair but spraying this on like i will let this kind of absorb a little bit in my tossy then before bed i'm gonna spray this near my face because naturally my short hair is gonna kind of get stuck to my oil a little bit and i don't want to wake up with greasy hair around my face. 
this will kind of absorb <laughs> overnight. If you don't put dry shampoo on day one hair or overnight to absorb oils as they're produced while you're sleeping, you're missing out. It, it, this is should be more of a prevention than a after the fact, I'm greasy, let's try to salvage hair situation. That one you'd have to use the strongest. Put in here, IGK first class all the way. This one is a charcoal, like the highest percentage. I can't remember if it says on the bottle, 7% active cleansing. That's really high. So this is for like ultimate like greasy third day hair, but you really need help. This is preventative. This is after the fact. Um, there are dry shampoos literally for every class, I feel like, imaginable. Okay, I think I pretty much covered the entire face situation. I will put on something overnight on my lips as always. Um, I've shared my favorites numerous times. I've been really liking this Sarah Hap. This is the Dream Slip. Um, if you're big on texture, this is really good, but I feel like this is definitely an overnight thing. You guys know I'm a lip product junkie. I've tried them all. So, I got that on. Now, it's time to go color match. So, I'm ready for the night. Let's do this. All right, guys. I'm coming at you looking like a glazed donut. And I'm normally where I showed you earlier, sitting in my living room, because my husband likes to go to bed early. I, this is my quiet time. This is the time when my kids are finally asleep and I can finally sit down and work in an un uninterrupted and quiet. I'm one of those people that kind of like, I love my quiet time. So, this is a little special. This is rare that my husband is gone and I can actually do work in bed and watch Netflix in bed. I've got my weighted blanket, one of my favorite purchases ever, computer, all my color matches to do, my rocket book planner so that I can figure out what's on the agenda tomorrow. And I even have, wait for it, I even got the rest of my wine from my vino box that I opened earlier. Um, so, it's gonna be a good night. I mean, I can already hear that the kids are already asleep. I don't know what I'm gonna watch on Netflix. I'm gonna get these color matches sent out. Um, it's another early morning tomorrow. Normally my husband wakes up the kids and then makes sure I get up. <laughs> I'm spoiled. And he's not here. So I'm gonna have to make sure I get up. I probably need to set my alarm right now uh, so that I don't forget to and miss. They would never forgive me. I'm pretty sure it's like water day or something. So we'll see how long this takes me and tomorrow, all of those lovely dishes. And I did pick up the house tonight, but all of the mess of laundry and dishes, I will tackle and emails tomorrow. It's for another day, but I had a highly productive day. Um, let's hope this video isn't too long because I feel like it is a full-time job to actually vlog an entire day and then try to get work done on top of that. I'm telling you, I don't know how people do it. That's, it's exhausting. I'm also just exhausted. So here we go. Cheers. I'm gonna have some wine and we'll see how long these take me to do. All right, friends, it's time to say good night. It's officially midnight here. <laughs> Color matches are sent check your spam i am going to get this open the very glamorous pre-night ritual of my retainers and my alarm clock is set it's going to be 
another early morning with the kiddos for summer school. I hope you guys enjoyed looking to my glamorous life <laughs> as a mom and business owner. I hope you got something from it, learned something or got something helpful or at least found it semi-entertaining to see how other people live. We'll catch you guys next week. As always, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Good night.